Peggy 16. Welcome or Vitate, how you would say in the Czech Republic. My name is Toby and today I will take you on a brief tour through the fantastic world of The Last Ori Crew. The Last Ori Crew is an action RPG with a strong emphasis on a dynamic storytelling that is driven by players' decisions. If you manage to survive, that is. Welcome to the beautiful world of Vardania, a planet in a distant galaxy in which what we consider a medieval world and a science fiction world collide. You are taking the role of Silver, one of only a few humans that are roaming this living and breathing world. Why you shipwrecked on this planet and why you were just woken up from your cryo chamber is yet to be discovered. When I said living and breathing world, I'm of course admiring how cool it looks. However, behind the shining facade, a massive civil war and strong oppression rages. The predominant races are in war and you get thrown right in. Combat in the last Ori crew is tough, skill-based and unforgiving. From tricky duels to mass fights with multiple NPCs, you'll come across dozens of enemies, sometimes even at once. But not everyone must strictly attack you right away. Factions might even fight alongside with you. Everything depends on your relationships you were building up beforehand. The Last Ori crew introduces one or two-handed weapons, shields and maces and even magic. But you can always get good and level up, right? The Last Ori Crew offers a deep skills-based RPG system. Collect essences from fallen enemies and invest in one of six skills which should make your life a little easier. It's simple but very effective. Don't drown in statistics and overly complex skill trees. Just loot, level and repeat. Now, let's take a look on something really cool. The Last Ori Crew offers a unique playthrough for everyone. Depending on your choices, you're not only influencing the war, but also create your very own story in Vardania. Every choice matters, and you can come to multiple possible endings. In this situation, the Queen is about to visit the monastery in which we woke up earlier. Our task was to hide one of the illegal magic items from her. There you go. You don't know why, you don't know who those people in the monastery are, neither who that Queen is. So you're offered to make a decision. There is no right or wrong, just your way. They do have this. Well, there was a wrong answer for poor Tobias here. But according to your decisions, the story will unfold in a certain way. Okay, okay. Poor Jeffrey here suffers from your decision as well. But this is not a game over. This is your way and you will have to go with it. But what if we would choose differently? Let's lie about the lightning rods. We end up in the same cellar. Let's call it the safer end. Oh, and see, good Toby is still alive, well, more or less. And our story continues from here. We just showed you two options, but believe me, there are way more. Tobias, for instance, needs healing. Will you give it to him? Or will you rather trade it for better equipment? Will you help Toby escape and watch his story unfold? Or do you kill him right in the beginning and loot his corpse? Sorry, Tobes, but money rules the world. The decisions you can make in The Last Ori Crew are influencing your entire playthrough. If you decide to rather give the med kit to the Redkins, they will not attack you, but stand on your side. On the contrary, anger them and you will have more enemies, but also more loot, more XP, but also, well, you know, eventually more deaths. But your decisions don't have to be definite. Remember when I said living and breathing world? I meant it. Life is change, right? and decisions are there to be changed later. In this particular situation, the Radkins are on our side. 
Our task is to open the gate and invade the castle together. On our way, we meet the marshal. He has something to offer to us, which might be more valuable. So we can backstab our new friends. Your decisions will have a direct impact on the world and how people will react to you. You can try to befriend all, which is probably not possible, or you can anger all, which, let's face it, is very possible. However, your choice matters and that's important. Enough politics. Let's take a look on boss fights. And of course, they are hard and unforgiving. To even the odds a little, we have an upgrade system. You can upgrade every item in your game. Find your favorite gear and carry it to the end, if you wish so. Of course, there is valuable loot to find in the world, but everyone has this one favorite weapon, right? And see, the fight looks already way better. However, it seems like the spider is still too hard for silver. In cases like these, you need a partner in crime, which leads me to the second major feature of The Last Ori Crew, which is Couch Co-op. The Last Ori Crew is designed as both a single player and a co-op experience. What is even cooler is that there are hidden mechanics and features that can be only triggered in cooperation. The spider from before is still a tough challenge, but with two players we can trap her and get an easier kill on her. You can win together or fail miserably. The game does not get easier per se, it just offers you another way to approach things. And who doesn't want to slide through enemy hordes with a buddy? You don't have to be together the whole game. You can start with a friend, play alone for a bit and finish together later. Hop on, hop off. The game will of course adjust accordingly and will be challenging even for two players. And that's it? Now, let's recap. The Last Ori Crew is an action RPG with a strong emphasis on the dynamic storytelling that is driven by players' decisions. Waking up in the living and breathing sci-fi medieval world of Wardania, players find themselves in the middle of a civil war for supremacy over the planet. Skill-based combat, mass fights and a dark conspiracy overshadow the once so peaceful land. Define your own path, side with the different factions or betray them influence the outcome of the war, as your choice matters. The Last Ori Crew is designed as both a single player and a co-op experience. Thank you very much for taking the time and also time to make some friends since it's co-op. So see you later. Thank you and goodbye.